Welcome to Lawn Tips with Lou. We're into October, and October is a month of transition. The days are getting shorter, the nights are getting cooler, and the grass starts to slow down in its growth. Along with slowing down in its growth, uh, you, you'll also notice that the greenness in the lawn starts to uh, diminish just a little bit. Okay, I have a Bermuda lawn, and the Bermuda continues to be nice and green and thick, but again, uh, the collar is uh, not quite as green as it was during the summer months, and part of that is because of the uh, uh, shorter days and the less sunshine. And you'll also see that some of the leaves on the trees are starting to turn collar. And I have elm trees and the leaves turn yellow in the fall. As I drive through the neighborhood, I see a lot of the lawns are already showing the look of fall and uh, the lawns almost look like they're starting to go dormant early. Even looking at this park area you can see that the lawn is really looking like fall. While well, September globally was the hottest month uh, or the hottest September on record, here in the Dallas area September was a relatively cool month. We had a cool September in the North Texas area. We had nights that dropped down into the 50s and highs into the 70s for several days during the month. The September weather may have tricked the Bermuda grass into thinking it was October already. Bermuda grass is a warm season grass and you can actually trick Bermuda into dormancy in the middle of the summer using ice cubes. If you throw ice cubes on the Bermuda lawn in the middle of the summer, you can temporarily put the, the grass into dormancy for a few days. Where the grass is in contact with the ice cubes, the grass will discolor, but it will recover in a few days. Now that we're into October, you don't want to try to try this little experiment because uh, you'll push the lawn into dormancy in those spots and this late in the season with the grass uh, growth slowing down uh, it won't have time to recover before the entire lawn goes dormant. During October we have shorter days, cooler nights, and um, uh, with the lower temperatures you know the, the lawn starts to slow down quite a bit. Along with the lawn slowing down in its growth, it no longer has the deep, uh, deep green collar that, uh, that you see in the grass during the summer months. Looking into the sun, the lawn looks very green, but I'm going to turn around and I'll show you something. It's just kind of a little bit of a perspective, but as you look away from the sun, you can see the effect of the fall on the grass. But let's uh, take a look in the front yard where I mow with the real mower, and uh, you'll see what a difference it makes mowing with the real mower versus rotary mower. Again, looking into the sun, the lawn is very lush and green. But with the uh, real mower, when you look at the lawn with the sun, it continues to have the nice green look. And then as we get down here close, you see it's nice, nice and thick where it's mowed with the real mower. Gives it a nice look throughout the year. As far as fertilizing the lawn, September was the last month that you wanted to put down a high nitrogen fertilizer. During October, you can continue to feed the lawn with a low nitrogen balanced fertilizer. 
what I've done during the month of October is I've sprayed a, uh, an application of liquid iron uh, as well as miracle Grow plant food. I used the plant food, not the miracle Grow lawn food. The miracle Grow lawn food is a high nitrogen fertilizer. The miracle Grow plant food that I put down is the miracle Grow Liquifeed. Uh, it has a 3-1-2 ratio of nitrogen, um, phosphorus, and potassium. And the nitrogen uh, uh, percentage is just 12%. So it's a fairly low, uh, uh, low nitrogen fertilizer. And I just spray it on uh, you know, a couple of times during the month uh, so that the lawn continues to get nutrients into the roots. With the lawn growth slowing during this time of the year, you don't want to encourage the growth uh, with a high nitrogen fertilizer. You want a low nitrogen balanced fertilizer that encourages root growth and development. In a few weeks, when the Bermuda grass does go into dormancy, the grass above the ground will die off, but the roots of the grass will continue to grow for much of the late fall and into the winter. It's been another enjoyable season of taking care of the lawn, from regularly mowing the front lawn with the real mower, and I prefer to mow in the late afternoon or early evening when the lawn is dry, to trimming the trees to increase the sun exposure on the Bermuda lawn. and enjoying the blossoms on the purple sage, along with the honeybees that they attract, and enjoying the early evenings after mowing the lawn. We now have crisp October morning air with the heavy dew on the lawn. It's even enjoyable doing a late season trimming with the trimmer. And here I'm mowing with the bagging attachment on the reel mower to pick up some early season leaves that have fallen. And again, because of some early season leaves that have fallen, I have the bagging attachment on the rotary mower. Throughout the year when I mowed, the clippings were mulched back into the lawn. Thanks for watching another episode of Lawn Tips with Lou, and I'll see you next time.